having a hard time understanding the different approaches that you can use in your research project, you are on the right channel. This video is the first part of the series of Titan Kinds and Types of Research that aim to discuss and show comparisons of different techniques, methods, and process in a lighter way. Kasama sa video na ito ang mga kahulugan, pagkakaiba, kung paano ang proseso at halimbawa ng iba't ibang uri ng research. Nagplaplano ka ba para sa iyong research project or isinasaayos mo ang iyong mga research questions? Kailangan mo ng guide o tulong para masisyonan kung anong klaseng research design ang kinakailangan mo. Well, dahil dyan, sagot na kita. Maraming paraan para makategorize ay iba't ibang uri ng research. The word you use to describe your research is depend on different fields and discipline. Simulan natin sa inyong objective. Una, ano ba ang gusto mong i-produce? Basic or applied? Basic, gusto mong mag-develop ng knowledge, theories, or predictions. Applied, gusto mong mag-develop ng techniques, product, or procedure. You have to consider, do you want to expand scientific understanding? Or solve practical problems? Second, gaano mo ba kaalam ang iyong research problem? Ito ba ay initial research pa lang ng newly identified issue? Or you are attempting to make accurate conclusion about an established issue? Nais mo ba magsiyasat or maglarawan? Exploratory versus explanatory. Exploratory means explore. You aim to explore the main aspect of an under-research problem. Nais mo bang investigate ang mga bagay-bagay na nakapaloob sa newly identified issue? O explanatory means explain. You aim to explain the cause and consequences of well-defined problem. Nais mo bang magbigay ng conclusion sa mga kadahilanan Kung paano at bakit ito nangyari sa isang established na issue. Third, inductive or deductive. Inductive, you are considering to develop a theory. While, in deductive, you want to test a theory. Do you want to make a new ideas or propose new theories based on findings? Or is there already a theory that you can use to develop your hypothesis about your research problem? Ano bang klaseng data ang plano mong makuha at gamitin sa inyong study? Primary or secondary? How much data is already available on your topic? Kailangan mo bang kumuha personally ng mga original na data o may mga nakahandang datos na nakinakailangan mo na lang itong i-analisa? Primary data, those are collected directly by you, the researcher through interview, experiment, giving test questionnaires. While secondary data, the data that has already been collected by someone else. It can be a government survey, sa mga publication, datos mula sa iba't ibang organization, and etc. 
Next, paano mo ba gustong i-measure or i-interpret ang inyong mga data? Ito ba ay qualitative data or quantitative data? Qualitative data, it focus on words, meanings, and description. While in quantitative data, it focus more on numbers and statistics. Pagdating naman sa proseso o design ng inyong study, plano mo bang mag-identify ng characteristic, patterns, correlation, o itest sa mga casual relationship between variables? Descriptive versus experimental. In descriptive research, it gathers data without controlling any variables. Pagdating naman sa experimental, you manipulate and control variables to determine the cause and effect relationship. In descriptive, you aim to describe a certain situation, phenomena, pangyayari, or any variables. While in experimental, you are aiming to identify kapag ganito po ba ang nangyari, or nagdagdag ako ng something, or may in-input akong kakaiba, it may possibly influence something or any variables. Do you want to produce generalizable knowledge? that can be applied to many situations or detailed knowledge about specific situation like a case study. Probability versus non-probability sampling. Probability, there is a presence of random selection. It allows you to make generalization in a larger population. Techniques include simple random, systematic, or stratified. In non-probability sampling, there is an absence of random selections. It allows you to draw conclusion only about the specific subject of your research. Techniques include convenience, purposive, quota, or snowball sampling. Nakatoon ba ang inyong research question sa pag-unawa ng mga current situation or to track changes over time? Cross-sectional versus longitudinal. Cross-sectional, you gather your data at one or a single point in time. While longitudinal study, you gather your data at several points in time. Do you want to find out how something occurs in the real world or draw firm conclusion about cause and effect? Field versus laboratory. Field research takes place in a natural or real-world setting, while laboratory research takes place in a controlled and constructed setting. Do you want to test hypotheses and establish generalizable facts or explore concepts and develop understanding? Peaks versus flexible. In peaks research design, the subject, time scale, location, and procedures are set before data collection begins. Or, in other words, the methods should be well-structured. While in flexible design, these aspects may develop through the data collection process. Kabilang sa proseso ng paggawa ng iyong research design ay ang pagpili ng iba't ibang research types. Depende kung paano isasagawa ang iyong research at kung ano ang objective ng inyong study. Ngunit umpisa pa lang ito, sundan ang part 2 video para mas mabigyang linaw ka sa iba't ibang uri ng research at ang mga iba pang detalye tungkol dito. I hope you learn something new from this video. I'm Miss Hazel from Research Team. Zooming out. Yeah.